This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Moss and Gold, Mr. Michael Hudson. Mike, how are you today? Gerardo, always a pleasure. More excellent results out of Australia. The headline today read Moss and Drills 15.3 meters at 2.2 grams per ton gold and 2.1% antimony at Sunday Creek in Victoria, Australia. Congrats again, Mike. Um, listen, every time you and I get to catch up on Australia or Finland, uh, frankly, it's um, it's it's positive drill results. It's more continuity. It's more scale. You have to be happy with the results from this release. Well, it's not every day you 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 walk up to a project and it keeps delivering. And and simply put, Sunday Creek has kept delivering. And and uh, you know I've had uh, thirty years exploring. And and of course, like most geologists, we're all optimists because most of the time these things don't work. But Sunday Creek uh, is is continuing at depth. It's continuing along strike. Uh, the the grades. Uh, you know, each each one of these holes will convert uh, very nicely into the maiden resource that uh, that we're working towards later this year or early next year. But uh, this this is building a project. Well, it's not often that you, as you mentioned, walk up to a project, start drilling it, and within you know a few months of the drill bit turning, you're talking about a maiden resource. That's got to come from the confidence in the way that the results have developed, right? The continuity. Um, this was, uh, I, I think, the better hole here, the headline hole, the 15.3 meters of 2.2 grams per ton gold and 2.1% antimony were lo was located 50 meters down dip from the closest drill hole. Again, that's got to be exciting. Just, you know, forget the, the, the CEO had, just as a geologist to see this continue to keep delivering that way. No, absolutely, and as you can see, um, we've already drilled below that um, again um, with a with a hole that uh, is just finished, and and waiting for those assay results to come in, and and uh, you know we're stepping out at every point, and and um, ab ab absolutely, Gerardo, this is this is this is um, how you make how you create value for shareholders um, is through discovery, and 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 uh, this one is. I think the key point is that continuity, um, just to pick up on that that point you made, continuity is critical. It's um, you know it's all very well and good getting drill holes and excitement around drill holes, but for the first time we published a cross section as well as a long section mm -hmm. here and, and and your your listeners can go to those and 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 see that there is a coherent zone. It's quite thick, you know it's over a hundred meters thick um, and down. Plunge now, um, you know, 200 over 200 meters vertically, and and it's uh, it, it's stacking up um, hole by hole. So it's like I said, these, these you you drill uh, to make a discovery, and once you made a discovery, you you drill to convert those drill holes into a resource, and um, and that's exactly what I can see happening here. You're quickly turning into a company that is just shy of a million ounces in Finland, a million gold ounces. Um, there's a resource update coming up soon. I know we talked in the past about um, the, the the goal to get close to that million ounce mark, if not over it. But Australia is also starting to take shape and, and, and looks like it could be on its way to a significant resource. What does the end of 2021 look like in a perfect world, Mike? It looks like uh, that we we will we will split the assets into two separate companies, mm. um, and that's what we're working towards here, Gerardo. I mean, we've got to dot the i's, cross the t's, and 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 uh, discuss with all the relevant exchanges. But but clearly, Finland is is developing into a into a project, and and towards not is but towards a mining project with EIAs and and uh, land use rezoning and. And those kind of studies, as well as economic studies, albeit still needs to get bigger and, and, and bigger it will get, but, but it's taking on that shape. So it's a very different scenario to what is an early stage set of discoveries here in, in Australia. And, and they're both being a little lost, I feel, we feel as a board, 
uh, and and separating them into the separate assets. Now that Victoria has got the momentum, and 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 remember, this is only one of many projects we have here in Victoria, and we'll we'll start discussing as we've been able to compile results from other projects, um, including Redcastle. Uh, so Victoria's got a momentum by itself, and really should be valued, um, you know, at, at, at a at a much higher level as a standalone asset, all things being considered with market, et cetera. But uh, that, that's, that's what an ideal world would look like. We'd be going towards our maiden resource in Victoria and we'd be starting a big drill program again in Finland, another 20 kilometre drill program to, to increase the ounces and to de-risk the ounces in Finland. I love the strategy. Um, I think it's brilliant. I, I, I have joked because I know it's something you and I have talked about, uh, me hoping to see for a long time. And so I am really glad that the drill bit and Mother Nature has delivered to the point where that actually makes perfect sense, right? Um, anything else to add to that, Mike? I suppose the only thing not that we didn't touch on just quickly, it's a detail, but you can see the antimony grades are increasing here at Sunday Creek as well. So we're, we're, we're getting as much antimony as in situ value in the rock hmm. as we have gold. Um, in, 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 so about a percent antimony is about a gram of gold. And you can see we're getting a, um, you know, the, the gold equivalent of that 15 metres with two and two antimony in gold is about four grams gold equivalent. So, so that's uh, an interesting scenario in its own right. You know, antimony is one of the critical metals. It's uh, used through electronics, fire retardants and the like. And, and that's that's going to be a key element uh, in, in the mix here as well as we go forward. Cobalt in Finland, antimony in Australia. You seem to have a knack for uh, gold and critical metals discoveries, Mike. Makes them a little easier. <laughs> Great work. Thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to the pending assays. Very much. Thanks again. All right. We'll chat soon. Bye now.